What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm gonna be listing my top 10 most worn fitted hats out of my entire fitted hat collection. Now, I don't know how many fitted hats I have exactly right now, but I know it's a lot. So I'm gonna be talking about the hats that I wear most often. I wear all of these hats at least once a week. Let's go ahead and get into it. But first, make sure y'all show the channel some love. Show a small YouTuber some love, as I always say, like, comment subscribe that's the easiest way to support the channel and it's free it helps the videos get out there in the algorithm so that more people can find the channel and i really do appreciate it now we're gonna start off with something light and that is this hat that i picked up i want to say last year maybe two years ago now from hat heaven it is this traditional pirates cap black crown black top bill yellow pirates front logo with the red outline 1994 all-star game side patch you have the detailed or shadow batterman on the back, whichever one you want to call it. Tonal Nuera flag, gray UV with the black guts. And that is why I'm able to wear this hat so often. I pull this out multiple times a week when I'm running to the store, running errands. It don't matter. I don't have to think about it. I throw it on and I go. That's why this one gets so much play. If you like good greens and grays, I definitely recommend you check out Hat Heaven. They have a great selection, a variety of hats, and mostly traditional colors, so you'll be able to find good everyday hats. This next one is one of the first hats that I bought when I started picking up teams outside of the Yankees and the Dodgers. If y'all been rocking with the channel for a while, you know I would always pick up the Yankees and the Dodgers. It didn't matter that those hats weren't you know, the top tier hats or the best looking out of the pack. Those were the teams that I mostly collected and still to this day probably but i have branched out since then and this was one of the hats that started that the hat club black dome mariners i bought this hat initially because i thought that it would be a perfect match for my laney fives which is one of my favorite sneakers but i wear it way more than i rock those laney fives so black crown black top bill you see the blue on the inside of the mariners logo and then it has that yellow outline 40th anniversary side patch, lots of detail, blue, yellow, white. I love that side patch. One of my favorite Mariner side patches. Flat batterman on the back, blue, yellow, and white. Once again, tonal Nuera flag, green UV. You can't go wrong with greens and grays when it comes to everyday hats. White sweatband on this one. And this is that like satiny, softer feeling sweatband versus the traditional white and black sweatband. I don't know if the newer black domes, the ones that just recently dropped, also have that sweatband. This is not from that most recent drop. So down below in the comment section, y'all can let me know, do the new black domes also have that nice sweatband? Because there's a few that I also wanna grab from that collection. So that's the Mariners Black Dome from Hat Club. I wore this one a lot and I'm sure y'all have seen it a lot in the videos. This is one of my earlier pickups from Hat Club when I was first getting into the drops and learning about Hat Club. This is one of the first hats that I picked up. It is the Hat Club Merlot. So y'all can see that dark red, brick red, maroon, whatever you wanna call it, crown and top bill. The Yankees front logo is white, green UV, and that is why I wear this hat so often, the colorway alone. The side patch is nice. Yes, we'll get into that. But the colorway is why I reach for this one so often. I match this up with so many fits. It's been worn with so many good fits. Like if I say so myself. But yeah, I wear this one a lot. It goes with so many different colors. Blues, greens, yellows. Like I'm able to pull off a lot of different fits with this one. And I like getting dressed head to toe not just fitted hats. 1950 World Series side patch. And if you notice, the hat is a little saggy. I'll talk about that in a second. Flat batterman on this one, same dark red and white. Tonal Nuera flag, like I said, green UV, black guts. Now, the reason why this hat kind of lost its shape when I'm not wearing it, when I'm wearing it, it's fine. But if you notice, it is a little saggy when I'm just holding it. That's because I got caught in the rain with this hat. And it wasn't one of those things where it's like, oh, just spray the hat, you know, before you go out, whatever the case may be. I would have did that if I knew it was going to rain. It was one of those days where it was just like a quick storm. You know, you get that thunderstorm warning in New York City. It's raining for like an hour and then it's done. So I got caught in the rain in this one. And that's why it's a little saggy. But like I said, when I put it on my head, it's still just fine. I do want more Merlots in my collection. So I am on the lookout for that. I wore this hat damn near all summer last year and the beginning of this year. Like whenever I saw an opportunity to wear this hat, I was wearing it. And that's the J-Tips and Hat Club Cubs. 
as soon as I got this one, I knew it was gonna be one of my not only favorite hats, but it became one of my most worn hats because like I said, every opportunity, I was grabbing this hat when it made sense. Infrared crown, infrared UV. Infrared does not really appear well on video and camera, but it's a very nice color. Icy UV with the white guts on this one. Real nice Cubs 1990 side patch. Flat batterman, icy and white. Tonal Nuera flag. I love this hat. The color combination is cold and I'm able to pull it off with so many different things. I've worn this one so much and I noticed myself wearing it so much that I have kind of put it in the duffel bag that's like off limits, like I'm wearing it too much. Give it a little cool off period before I pull it out again. So J Tips and Hat Club, Cubs, one of my favorite and most worn hats. This is another one that I will just find or create opportunities so that I could wear this hat. And I end up wearing it very, very often. That is the Hat Club Texas Rangers inspired by the Longhorns, I believe. It's one of the college crossovers, not from the newer college crossover drop, but the initial college crossovers that they did. So you have like that campfire color, crown and top bill, that burnt orange white Texas Rangers front logo with the black shadow, 40th anniversary Texas Rangers side patch, very clean, one of my favorite side patches, flat batterman on the back, you have some more of that orange, black, and white, tonal nuera flag, gray UV with the black guts, like I said earlier, you can't go wrong rocking grays and greens every day, this is one that a lot of people have tried to buy off me, trade off me. Nope, not letting it go. I don't let any of my hats go. I don't sell any hats, but this is not one that I would sell even if I did. So this hat right here is unlike any of the other hats that I'm gonna show y'all today because it is not an MLB hat. It is from New Era, but it is a New Era Fear of God Essentials cap. So these are the 100% wool joints that they released. Don't pay resale for these. You can still pick them up on a bunch of different retail sites. The sizes and the colors might be select now, but definitely do your due diligence before paying resale for these. So this one right here is the orange one. I also have the green one that I wear very, very often too, but I picked the one that I wear a little bit more for the video, and that is the orange. So orange crown, orange top bill, gray UV with the white guts, lots of greens and grays in this video. You have like that off-white button, and the sweatband is actually off-white too. It's not white. Tonal New Era branding on the side. It's not the flag, it just says New Era. Sometimes I don't wanna wear a team hat because I might be wearing a very busy vintage tee or a very busy tee in general. I might be wearing a tee that has like a opposing team or a different league on my shirt, something like that. And it might just be too much going on. So sometimes I wanna rock a hat that has no sports team affiliation. This next hat is another one that people have tried to buy and trade off of me. I'm not giving it up, I love this hat. I wear it all the time, regardless of what the fit looks like. If I can wear it, I'm gonna wear it. And that's the Hat Club Pirates Moon Rocks. Black crown, black top bill. The inside of the Pirates logo is like a purple. The outline is red. Super nice colorway. These were inspired by an album. I'll go ahead and put it up here because I don't remember it off the top of my head. 1994 All-Star Game side patch on the side. Great color placement. Black batterman on the back with that purple, red, white, tonal new era flag, gray UV with the black guts. This hat is one that I thought I would never have. And so once I got it, I wore the hell out of it. And I still do because it's one of my favorite color combinations. And that's the Hat Club Gum Pack Yankees. This one is inspired by Big Red. So you have the red crown, red top bill, white Yankees front logo, 1999 World Series side patch. It looks just like the gum. They did a great job matching the hats up to the gum, but I've said that before on the channel. Flat batterman on the back, tonal new era flag. I did not think the hat club would ever bring the gum pack back. So when they did, I bought all of the Yankees and I bought the one Winter Fresh Cubs because that hat was just cold. Whether I collect the animal logos or not, that hat was clean and I had to have it. So I went crazy with the gum pack. That video is still up on the channel if you wanna see me unbox and show the details on all of the hats. But red and gray is one of my favorite color combinations for hats. And I wear the hell out of this one because it goes with so many different things, especially during the summertime. So this hat right here is my first pinky. It sits by the door. It don't even need to go in a duffel bag at this point because I wear it so often. Navy crown and top bill, white Yankee shrunk logo, 1999 side patch, real clean. 
classic hats, flat batterman on the back, white and wearer flag, pink UV with the black guts. Like I said, this hat sits by my keys. I grab it and I go. I don't even need to think about it. It's just a nice everyday hat. This is another one of two. I have two of them, but this one is the one I wear a little bit more. So this is the one that made it into the video. And it is the Hat Club T-Mark Yankees. There were two of these for pre-order. I got both of them. Navy crown, navy tie bill, white Yankees front logo. World Series 1981 side patch. That gold in there, real nice. Flat batterman on the back. Tonal Nuera flag. Green UV with the black guts. I had to have them both. I know some people was just like, why couldn't you get one? Like it's a navy Yankees with the green UV. They're both the same. They're the same, but they're different. Out of my top 10 most worn fitted hats down below in the comment section. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out in the next one.